Yo, what's going on guys? I hope you all missed me. I was gone for a week, not by choice, but by YouTube giving me a strike. Now, for those of my viewers who are involved in the commentary community or, you know, watch other commentary channels, chances are you've probably heard of what's been going on. YouTube has been striking down various videos by commentary channels that discuss TikTok challenges, and basically when you get a strike, you can't upload for a week, you can't post on your community tab for a week, and you can't live stream for a week. And that's obviously bad enough, but it gets worse when you realize that when you get three strikes, your channel gets deleted, so. And as you can imagine, that's the most horrifying part of having a strike. You know, I can I can deal with the fact that I'm missing out of a week's worth of money. I don't mind that as much. Since I still live with my parents, it's not a huge deal. But I mean, Jesus, dude, there are some people that depend on YouTube to pay the bills, you know, keep the lights on, pay for their groceries, and for this to happen to anybody else, really, could be, th like, scary. Like, really scary. So I got a strike on my channel for talking about a challenge uh, that I can't say the name of because I am very convinced that YouTube has a bot listening to my videos and every commentary channel's videos to see if they hear the name of the challenge, and if they hear the name of it, they're gonna strike down the video, so I'm not gonna say the name of the challenge. But I basically made a video criticizing kids who are stealing stuff and breaking the law. Now, that's like not even a controversial take whatsoever. I'm just saying to abide by the law. I cannot think of a more cold take to take on any sort of issue, like follow the law. I don't know, there, there's no gray area for that. There's no disagreeing with that. And I ended up receiving a strike for promoting violence and harmful acts. So, as you can probably guess, since I didn't promote violence at all, or, you know, promote any sort of harmful or dangerous acts, and since I did the opposite of that, I appealed the strike, because you can do that. YouTube understands that they make mistakes sometimes, and when you get a strike, it's almost always because a bot takes down the video and not because a YouTube employee sees it and thinks that it breaks the rules. It is almost always a bot. So it was like 3 o'clock in the morning when I get the notification on my phone that one of my videos was taken down from a strike, and I was like, okay, you know what, um, guess I'm not going to bed yet, so I go back to my desk, I turn on my computer, and I, I get to typing out this appeal to the strike. So after I submit the appeal, I turn off my computer and go back to my bed, finally ready to get some sleep, but I swear to god, I shit you not, the moment I lay my head on the pillow, my phone vibrates again, and I look at it, it says, appeal denied. Explain to me how a human being on YouTube was able to read my appeal at 3 o'clock in the morning, literally minutes after I submitted it. It's just not possible. A bot read my appeal and just decided no. So, yeah. Basically, uh, my, my, my channel got a strike and a, a false appeal denial, uh, all because of a robot, which is just awesome. So, I end up getting very little sleep that night. I wake up at noon the next day, and the first thing that I do is I contact some of my friends who I know that do YouTube that have bigger channels than me because when my friends who have bigger channels have gotten strikes previously, they've had people that they know at YouTube to try to sort that out for them. And funny enough, as it turns out, some of my friends that have connections at YouTube also got a strike from this challenge, which is crazy. Like, <laughs> this is actually insane. So I'm like, okay, if the people that have networks can't figure this out for me or don't know why they're getting their videos taken down either, I'm gonna have to contact YouTube on Twitter. So I spam ping them on Twitter and, you know, they, they, they say DM me or whatever and I DM them and they're like, we're looking into it, we're looking into it and I hop on Google support to try to have an actual conversation with somebody live and explain to them what's been happening because the video that I posted, just to be very clear, literally broke none of the community guidelines. I read the community guidelines, it doesn't break any of them. So I'm trying to explain to these Google support agents that I've wrongfully received a strike and that my appeal was like instantly denied at 3 o'clock in the morning and, like, any human being would be able to understand that, okay, that was a robot, right? Like, they would probably be able to say, you know, what happened to you was unfair, let's actually get another human on this case, and we'll get your video back up. But I swear to God, I was dealing with the most retarded Google employees for, like, an hour straight. Like, these people, after explaining in thorough, meticulous detail everything that I did, and everything that I did right, all they would, like, each one of them would say, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, I'm sorry for that. Oh, I'm sorry that that's how you feel. Like, dude, what? I don't want an apology. I want someone to get rid of my strike because the strike is bullshit. Anyway, uh, after like three days, uh, it turned out that YouTube DM'd me on Twitter, and I'm pulling it up. 
They send me like this long ass paragraph and they say, update after careful review, our team confirmed that the decision stands and your video will remain taken down. And it says, while it might not be fair to say that you can't show something because of what viewers theoretically might do in response, we draw the line at content that's intended to incite violence or encourage dangerous illegal activities that have an inherent risk of serious physical harm or death. It is not permitted to post videos showing activities such as drug use, underage drinking, smoking, or bomb making. In addition to this, we are very sensitive to any harmful or dangerous content that involves minors. So no shit, I didn't encourage doing this challenge. I did the exact opposite. Um, and I think the main reason that it got taken down is because I showed clips of, there's this one clip of this dude. Uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to describe it, but in this clip, you, he's doing something bad, uh, and you can see that he's like a student, and that would imply that he's like a minor, so maybe that's like what it is, but they don't really, like, it's so vague that you have to be the one to interpret their rules. Um, so, again, like, it's, I mean, maybe that's what I did wrong, maybe I can't. I, I, it is it is so confusing, dude. Um, so in the future, I guess I'm gonna have to mainly stick to like non TikTok challenge commentary because uh, it appears that that's gonna be like the the thing that gets my channel taken down. So I guess I can't do that anymore. Long story short, I'm back. I'm sorry that I was gone again. It wasn't my decision whatsoever. Uh, we're gonna be back to posting normally, hopefully by next week. You know. Uh, anyways. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.